Three Chicago police officers have died by suicide this year alone. At this hour, Superintendent Eddie Johnson is welcoming more than 100 mental health professionals from around the country. Now, they're in Chicago to talk about ways to support officers and help them maintain their mental well-being. CBS News' Audrina Bigas joins us live now from the museum campus, where the summit is already underway, we understand. Hi, Audrina. Good morning, Mike and Aaron. Yeah, we're here at Soldier Field, and this has been a tough year for the Chicago Police Department when it comes to losing officers to suicide. This summit is one way that they're looking at how this department can better support the men and women in uniform when it comes to mental health and also ways to prevent more tragedy within the department. Now, this is a two day summit focusing on three things officer wellness, peer support, and suicide prevention. Chicago Police have teamed up with the University of Chicago. Crime Lab to help this discussion and create a plan here moving forward. Now, last year there were four suicides within the Chicago Police Department. This year there have been three. So this summit is all about looking into mental health resources for police. Right now the department does make therapists available to all officers and they can get help on an anonymous basis. We have such a macho profession that it's difficult sometimes for them to reach out for help because it's seen sometimes in the general public as a sign of weakness, but it's actually a sign of strength for you to be able to do that. Last month, Chicago police added or actually more than doubled the amount of therapists for the department. Right now, there are 12 clinical therapists specifically trained in trauma to help officers. Again, they can seek help anonymously. We're live in Soldier Field, Audrina Vegas, CBS 2 News. All right, Adriana, thanks so much.